Flying aircraft carriers, are they science fiction or could they become a reality in the not-so-distant future? A common feature of sci-fi old and new like the Cloud Base in Captain Scarlet and the Mysterians, they have been experimented with for many decades, but the sophisticated ship-killing ballistic missiles appear to have inspired some navies to resurrect the concept. Today, we look at the possibility of the world's only flying aircraft carrier. An aircraft carrier, by definition, is a large ship that carries military aircraft and has a long, flat surface where they take off and land. The bulwark of any modern Navy aircraft carriers tend to fall into one of two main categories – standard carriers and supercarriers. In the 1970s, Boeing worked on a project that would have turned jumbo jets into flying aircraft carriers. The Airborne Aircraft Carrier Project involved converting the Boeing 747, the largest passenger jet flying at the time, into a mothership capable of launching tiny fighter jets. Although never built, the concept lives on in spirit in DARPA's new Gremlins drone program. One of the most enduring aviation dreams of the past 100 years has been the flying aircraft carrier. A flying aircraft carrier would have been able to respond much more quickly to crises than seagoing aircraft carriers and this speed would also make them a floating flat top more difficult to destroy. The idea of an enormous plane or dirigible carrying small planes is also undeniably cool. In the 1970s, Boeing commissioned an internal study to examine the feasibility of turning its largest passenger jet, the 747, into a flying aircraft carrier. The Airborne Aircraft Carrier AAC, would carry up to 10 microfighters and launch and recover them in flight. The plane would use an internal conveyor belt system to send out two fighters every 80 seconds, launching the entire air wing in 15 minutes. Once the fighter's mission was complete, the 747 would winch them back aboard, where the pilots could rest and even sleep in their own quarters while the planes were refueled and rearmed. The AAC was a way to project air power quickly into a crisis zone. Just 10 AACs flown into a hotspot would bring with them a total of 100 combat-ready fighter jets. Another possibility was an escort for bomber fleets. An AAC would accompany a flight of B-52 Stratofortress into combat, releasing the microfighters to deal with any inceptors attempting to shoot down the big lumbering bombers. But as cool as the flying aircraft concept was, there were major problems. For one thing, air travel wasn't nearly as safe as it is today, and there would invariably be accidents. Every crash involving a fully loaded 747 would destroy up to 11 airplanes and kill 11 sets of pilots. Secondly, the conveyor belt launch and recovery system would have to be invented and fitted to the 747. Despite all the problems that killed the AAC, however, the dream still lives on. The Pentagon's X-61 Gremlins project is developing uncrewed aerial vehicles that can be released from a flying C-130 Hercules. The Gremlins drone could be outfitted with sensors, jammers, or weapons to accomplish a specific mission and then be recovered by the transport plane or glide to a landing at a predetermined spot. The small turbine-powered drone is cheaper and much easier to develop than a crewed microfighter. The X-61 flew with and launched from a C-130 wing at Dugway Proving Ground, Utah. The first airborne test demonstrated some basic capabilities like transitioning to stable powered flight, deploying a mechanical arm from the C-130 where the drones can dock and connecting to data links. The company wants its aircraft to be able to loiter for one hour in a 30 nautical mile radius and to carry more than 50 pounds of payloads in its nose cone. Those requirements could change, such as needing a faster UAV when the military takes the program further. The Boeing 747 has already secured its place in the pantheon of great aircraft, from its immense success as a passenger plane to its varied governmental use like being a taxi for the space shuttle or as a cargo aircraft. The 747 has proven itself to be a competent aircraft for a wide variety of applications, so it seemed logical when, in the 1970s, the U.S. Air Force began experimenting with the idea of converting one of these large aircraft into a flying aircraft carrier full of parasite fighters that could be deployed and even recovered in mid-air. Between the success of this test and other drone wingman programs like Skyborg, the concept of a flying aircraft carrier has seen a resurgence in recent years. It may potentially and finally become a common facet of America's air power.
Do you think it's a good idea for America to build something like this? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video.